two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Hello, everybody. Welcome to What's on Tap podcast. And uh, who is this talking, you might wonder? Well, <laughs> I have uh, made a coup this week and taken over the podcast from Stefan and Martin. And my name is Björn. And Help! He's keeping us <laughs> locked up with no food or water! <laughs> Shut up, you will get some beers. You will get some beers. Um, for regular listeners, you have heard me before. Um, I also go by the YouTube name Björn Gaiden. And uh, been uh, joining Martin and Stefan on reviewing beers before. And also been participating in the game of beers. And uh, today I will be hosting and uh, another session of Game of Beers yes. with Stefan and Martin. So finally, Completing. for the first time, we will compete against each other. Yes. <laughs> How does it feel? Uh, I'm a little nervous, i got to say. I don't <laughs> think I'm going to do well. I, I, uh, I have to admit, uh, I um, will be very curious to see how this goes. <laughs> I've been training my entire life for this. <laughs> yeah. Miss Martin, you killed my father, prepare to be defeated. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're the reigning champion. <laughs> yes. Because, you, you because I won over you with one point, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I just switch from Vice Beer to Belgian Blonde on the... You would have had would, it. Yeah. So, I was so close. But, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see um, if you can figure out the three beers that I uh, have bought for today. And um, I have... Purchased them all from uh, Systemblaget, uh, Hansa company here in Malmö, and um, I think they are all in the uh, regular assortment. Great. Um, okay. The regular assortment keeps expanding, so it's yes. going to be a little more difficult um, to tell. And uh, um, Martin has tried a lot of beers. Yeah. Uh, you have tried a lot also, but not as many as Martin. And, uh, but I've managed to find three beers that uh, you both have tried. Yeah. So, um, uh, a level playing field. It is very important yeah. to uh, to the game that you both at least tried it once. Yeah. It may have been like three years ago, yeah. but we tried it once. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if it's beers that you've never tried, it's quite difficult to guess them. Yeah. Well, especially yeah. the brewery and the, the, the yeah. beer itself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, according to Untapped, you have tried it. So Excellent. So, um, who feels the most anxious to... I have the blindfold in front of me. That means nothing. So, I guess I will start by tasting. Oh, so no, as, not as, tasting. As, smelling. As a defending... Yeah. Well, you get to taste as well. Right, that's yeah. right. I, so, so, I think uh, as a defending, you, you're supposed to go second, aren't you? Isn't the... Nope. The challenger supposed to go first? <laughs> so, so, the goals are that you are going to try to find the style of the beer. Yes. And... Uh, then the brewery and at least the beer. Yes. Uh, and uh, so blindfolded first, trying all three beers. And okay. Then, uh, and then we will um, reveal the colors of the beers and see if you change your mind. All right, that sounds good. So it's, I guess so. Martin's all poised and ready to go here. Yeah. It's an Iowa. unusually good blindfold. We usually do like a, a, a scarf or a something. Scarf or something. Yeah. But this is. Uh, some kind of ski goggles with uh, black tape on it. Yep. I cannot even cheat, actually. Oh, no, I'm like, that's how you won this like at that one point <laughs> yeah, last time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have gotten more points if I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah. got to make it look at least fair, so that way you couldn't cheat too much. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. All, right, All right, I guess I will uh, excuse myself then, yeah. so Martin, because yeah. he's Martin's just like so excited about this. Uh, yeah, so I go and we... get uh, comfy in my bedroom. All right. Uh, uh, to listen to some... or... That's uh, not the first time you've heard uh, that. That's yeah. optional. All that's right. optional. Ooh. And I will uh, bring out uh, the bag of mystery beers from the refrigerator. And uh, I'll put the noise do, in here. Do, 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 and, do, um, do. So, right. Are you ready, Martin? I'm very ready. I uh, I was born ready. This this competition is so difficult because 
uh, I, I don't find the blindfolded part uh, the most... Uh, what am, who, who am I kidding? The blindfolded part, part is really difficult. That's the part where someone smells it and goes, oh, this is wise beer and it's a Belgian double or something. Yeah. It's... Okay. Pouring the first beer here for you. Yep. And I, will, I have my hand ready. Yeah. There you it go. goes. I will pour some for myself. Um, see. So it so. doesn't... It doesn't smell very much. A little bit sweetness. Ba ba if it was based only on uh, aroma, I would be zero. Uh, zero guesses right now. I yeah. have no idea. First sip. Mm. Mm. It almost t it tastes uh, stout-like. Okay, it tastes like a stout. Start. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, lock it in, lock yet. It in yet. No. Um, uh, what? what why, why do you say start? Um, sweetness, richness. There's some like vanilla nuttiness. It's not vanilla, as in wow, this is a vanilla beer, but slight notes. Definitely not. Oh, this might be a brown ale. <laughs> uh, so sad. Switching though. from stout to brown ale. Wind changes fast here. It's not very, it's not very rich or thick. If I were to guess percentage, which is not this contest, that's another blind tasting contest. It would be in like the five six percent range. Oh, it's, it might be a red ale. Do you have I don't dare to guess stout anymore. It would taste differently. This is difficult. Uh, I think I'll actually I'll 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 oh it might be multi IPA. I'm yeah. gonna go out on a, a, a limb and actually guess red ale. Red ale. And uh, in that case, I think it might be the hawk's head red ale. But I, I won't want to lock that in. I just want to yeah. say it so yeah. that the listeners will afterwards go, "Wow, he is so smart," or "He's so stupid." Yeah. Are you ready for beer number two? I am. Okay, I will do this, and I will do this, just to throw you off. That's good. I don't, so. want, I don't want any more clues than uh, <laughs> Stefan has. So, uh, so we have beer number two. Thank you. Uh, it smells kind of murky, f not, f not funky as in sour, but... Muddy. Mm. Muddy. Mm. It's very Any hoppy. other notes that comes to mind? It's very hoppy. It's hoppy in the. If. Oh, I, I wish I was more fun to listen to. <laughs> um, hoppy but very sweet. It might be so. So every uh, IPA at Sustainable kind of gets massacred in one way or another. Just sitting there, getting more and more skunky and stuff. Mm. And I think this might just be a classic case of shelf IPA. So IPA, uh, I'm locking it in. Yeah. And sometimes Stefan is very kind as the rule overlord and kind of includes double IPA, session IPA, and sometimes even New England IPA into the IPA category. Yeah. Which is kind of, so it's easy to guess that because it covers so many uh, actual styles. But I'm setting my own rules here. This is my kitchen. Oh my God. And if you say... But then I will say IPA. IPA. Um, is it a session or a regular or a double or a triple? Uh, we can leave the uh, New England style out, um, um, or if it's a West Coast or East and Coast or New England. But is it a and session? I'm leaning between IPA? session and regular. I'll say regular. All right. So we have a red ale and we have an IPA. IPA. Do you have a um, guess for a brewery? It's so difficult. I 
Ska Brewing or Sierra Nevada or something. Ska Sierra Nevada. But I don't want to look that in. I no. just make some notes, see how the. Yeah. Because when I see them, uh, see the they, might have, they might have the wrong colors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the final beer. So I'm gonna have zero points on this. Uh, so here you go. This smells like a, a peated stout. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I had this myself, so... So thin. It still smells, it tastes peated. It's just slightly peated. It might be slightly off. Um, the aroma told me Imperial Stout, but the, the, the body of the beer is kind of tricky. Yeah, I see what you mean. It tastes so thin when I can't see it. But do you still think it's a, that no, it's a stout? No, I don't think it's a stout. Um, I think it's a German Rauchbier. Um, so then I would say it's even um, uh, Acht Schlenkerla. I don't want to lock the brewery <laughs> in yet. Uh, but they How have do you spell that again? <laughs> <laughs> A E C H T. Yeah. <laughs> but but um, they make several beers that are kind of in. So there's like smoky, my book and stuff. But uh, I I think but, I will get the the um, moral victory by just saying German Rauch beer. Rauch beer. All right. Um, so. So now you need to cover oh, up. We'll the, cover up the. And I the need to here with the with the towel and uh, we'll press them a bit together. So, and uh, are the are the bottles, cans, whatever, are they hidden? They are hidden in the other room. So, so I can take. there. And but so I can, can take off this now. You can. I re remove all evidence Good. of uh, of the beers. In my pocket. Good. Then soon Stefan will come. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, Martin Gist, Red Ale and IPA and oh, German okay. Rauf beer. So, uh, let's see how uh, it goes for Stefan. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. I didn't so, jump in. That's quick. Yeah. I only got through like one and a half songs. Oh. Was, what, did, was, what did you listen to? Uh, I was, uh, you know, belting out. Um, What's going on? My four non blondes. Oh, I was ooh. yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yep. I was like, <laughs> I said, hey, what's, what's going, going on? on? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's going on? All right. We ready? I'm ready. Okay. Are so you I can ready? My enormous head. All right. It is yeah. black. And just to put some pressure on you, mm -hmm. Martin did the fairly good. All right. He so, said it was tough. Yeah. So I uh, I figured it would be. It always is. Yeah. Um, I will go fetch the first beer for you. Excellent. So excited. Also and, uh, very pensive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here you go. Are you pouring these one at a time? Yes. This is in a snifter. There's one of my glasses from. Uh, London Craft uh, Beer Festival. Mm, this, this smells. Mm, smells yeasty and kind of malty. Mm, smells like it's going to be boozy. All right, I'm going to go in. Boozy? Boozy. No? This is tricky. Yeah, the same U-turn as Martin did on this. Yeah, because the, the taste initial, is... initial thoughts got got overthrown. Yeah, boy, I uh, I may have to come back to this one. This one's I'm not quite sure. I uh... what styles are you leaning on towards? What's something darker roasted? Yeah. Um, 
I probably just I can't scratch it. <laughs> I just realized like oh there's a face guard. Um, um, it, I mean, it kind of feels like a red hill or um, um, it doesn't. It's definitely got roasted malts on it, but it doesn't. At first, I was leaning towards like a Belgian style, but yeah. It doesn't have that like bubble gum or um, uh, like kind of yeasty sweetness to it, or it's not like a little too boozy. Um, it just tasted kind of like a. Hmm. Um, so what's Because it's also kind of dry and it's a little bitter in the end. Uh, I can't think of anything but a red ale. I'm gonna put red ale for now, and I might change it. Uh, yeah, before we're, <coughs> before we're done. Uh, okay. So, any thoughts on the brewery? Uh, oh, I have no idea. I'll, we'll have to we'll have to cross that when we uh, <laughs> <laughs> when we get there. I'm not even sure about the style, much less the brewery or the. Because um, I can't even think of like, I mean, red ale is completely wrong. I know that because I can't think of a single red ale on the on the shelves and. Uh, um, it's a Stimbalaga. Um, uh, there are a few. Yeah, there's a couple, yeah, but yeah. it's it's not real common. And I don't know if you went to Hansa. But, but have or, you tried them? That's the question. Uh, so. I mean, I, not in a long time. <laughs> um, so I will pour you beer number two. Okay. So here, All right. One. Oh, well, this is definitely an IPA of some sort. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to go IPA, 100% on that one. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what, what makes you say that? Well, it's got a super hop forward nose. And, uh, I mean, this is falling into that um, hazy IPA category, I'm, I'm almost uh, 100% sure. Because it's got that kind of hoppy sweetness, like um, they put a lot of oats in it or uh, something, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's definitely got some hoppy, zingy sweetness to it. So, yeah. Yeah. And... Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Martin uh, said that you you always give a, a correct answer for all the IPAs. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, a session you... or, or a double, but this is my kitchen, my oh, my your rules. rules? Uh, so and I got to be a little bit more specific. Yeah. yeah. So okay. I um, right. we so can the... leave New England um, if it's hazy or not, but I want to know if it's, it's a session, Sing... a, a, a regular IPA or double. Or double or IPA. Or, well, it's or... not. A, I don't think it's triple. Um, I'm, Pretty sure it's not triple, and it's definitely not a session. So, I will go a double IPA. Double IPA. Yeah. Deeper for days. Deeper. Okay. And, um, see, I, I, I'm almost willing to bet this is too old's uh, hashtag beer, but I don't, I'm not writing anything like that. It's an early guess. Yeah. I'm just um, uh, taking some notes yeah, yeah. here. And uh, so, too old hashtag. Yeah, I don't know what that beer is called. Just you know, number sign, hashtag. I don't know, <laughs> but this is my early guess. Yeah. Um, and uh, then we will have the final beer okay. here. Yes. Uh, I will pour it for you. And then there you go. Okay. Oh, uh, if I'm guessing just off the smell, it feels like a Baltic porter. Baltic porter. Mm. Yeah. Um, because it's got that, well, no, it's not quite lagery enough. Um, but it's definitely on that smoked beer train. Um, because those malts are really roasted. Um, ah, now I'm, now I'm not sure. Um, Besides the roastiness, what else do you get from the beer? Well, it's got a slightly smoked <laughs> character to it. And since it's not sour, it's not that Lichtenhainer or whatever the hell it's called from that uh, Becaria <laughs> makes. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's definitely in that kind of smoked lager, um, portery kind of kind of uh, territory because um, I'm not getting any like chocolate or uh, 
uh, like hard roasted notes. It's more of just like a kind of a pleasant smoke, uh, slightly bitter um, finish to it. Um, so you want to stick with Baltic Porter? No, because it doesn't have a lagering -y kind of, it's not, it's not clean enough to be a, a Baltic Porter. So, um, I'm going to go Rausch, Rausch beer. Rausch beer. Yes, Rausch beer. Rausch. Rausch beer. Yeah. Um, any guess on the brewery? At this uh, I'm going to guess Stig Brigette's, um, Ringu Rausch beer. Oh. That would be my, would be my first guess, but I'm not a hundred percent on that one. <laughs> Ringu. All right. So, well, no, no, oh, no, okay, I'm okay. just going to cover up the, All right, the cover up the beers. So, and... Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let me try the first one again, one more time, just to make sure how I feel on that. So, uh, I, I, wasn't, I wanted to go back and revisit it. See, there's that sweet maltiness to it. Um... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Belgian double. Why not? Belgian double. <laughs> Crossing the red egg and going Belgian yeah. double. Yeah, yeah. I'm totally going different style. Just what a U turn at the end. I know, I know. Wow. Um, so we'll see. Right. Okay. So cover up the beers here. Okay. And I will go. Can I take the mask off? You can. All right. Okay. Oh, woo. Yeah. Bright. That was so dark. It was like going into a cave, a cave of wonders. <laughs> All right. Oh, how you feeling about how you did? I, f I feel like my first, uh, the first beer I've gotten completely wrong. Me Stein too. Likes. Me too. Okay, uh, okay. so um, to just to take the. Okay, uh, sorry, sorry. Um, so at this point, uh, beer number one. Uh -huh. uh, Martin, you ended up on a red ale. And I and, regret it. And, oh, and that's Stephen, so funny. I said red ale too. Yeah. <laughs> and in the end, he made a U turn and towards Belgian uh, double. Because what I did was I saved it. I went back and we retasted it. We won't know it if it's a Belgian double until... I, re, I went back and retasted it at the end. I was like, no, it's not a red ale. It's a little too sweet and funky for it to be a red ale. But that was my... That was what I... That's what I felt at first, too. And the beer number two. Uh, Martin, you said IPA. Um, he forced it, me to... I know. I know. Yeah, I know. I forced him also. And yeah. you went session. No, I went double. Oh, double. I, went, I went regular. No, no. It's uh, too sweet for a session. And... Um, uh, yeah, system will you, get, uh, you said something about a uh, beer that's been on shelves a long time. Oh, and ma exactly. mang mango through the system. Exactly. Blog at, uh, Regular IPAs at system yeah. are quite malty so because maybe, they're so old. Maybe I didn't think it was maybe, malty. Maybe a oh. ska, maybe a Sierra Nevada, but you didn't lock it, lock it in. I didn't lock in but any you, breweries. You, you, no, I didn't, I didn't either. Uh, but you didn't lock it in, but you said too well, the, the hashtag. Yeah, because this is now part of the regular... Shelf release. Yeah. So, so, so for the first one, the, when I said red ale, I actually said and it might be Hawk's Head, but now I've been thinking there. I don't think you've had it. No, I haven't. <laughs> so I'm not going to lock that in. <laughs> that's what's so funny. It was like, it were like, well, how many red ales have you had? I'm like, that came out of the system log. And then I don't know that I've had any from system log. No. So, <laughs> so I guess and, that's and, and the final beer, you both both said it was a bit uh, smoky and uh, you said peated also. And you both ended up on Rauch beer. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. said Echt Schlenkerla and you said Stiegberget's Ringebräu. Yeah. yeah, but they didn't uh, lock in the... No. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, we didn't, I didn't uh, lock in my just, just And the, the only reason... Refreshing the... Yeah. Recap. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, um, let's um, remove... Oh, ooh, I'm excited. The, the, so we got... Ooh. So, I mean, the, the first one could still be a really dark uh, red ale. No, nope, I'm sticking with my... Uh, um, no, this that's is definitely. So I'm not changing that one at all. This is so fun because um, not changing that at all. That is a hundred percent not a session. <laughs> because the last beer is too uh, dark to be uh, the Ash uh, Schlenker. Yeah, but I still think it's a, a smoke. I, it's beer. definitely a smoke beer. I'm a hundred percent. I'm hundred percent on these two. This one, I am still going with uh, Belgian. It's like but, a, uh, uh, oh, what's that beer called? Oh, this is going to be the hard part. Because all I can think of is like Westmala. 
And I don't think it's that. I think it's another one, but I cannot for the life of me. I can see the label, but I can't think of the beer itself. Um, so before before he says too much, because it, it's very sad. It, it, now I know what he has said about the third one. That's where I want to go now that I know that it's not uh, Schlenkera. The ones at Sustainable Art are way lighter than this. But I want to look in too. I want to I want to guess okay. that this is Amundsen Apocalyptic Haze. Apocalyptic Haze. Amundsen Apocalyptic Haze. That's a good one. Um, I want to lock it in before you say it, and so you can't say, "Oh, you're just copying me," because I want, I'm, <laughs> I have, I'm running out of beers that the third one could be. Um, I don't think it's apocalyptic case. I think it's um, um, yeah, fuck, I'll stick with whatever I put before. I think it's the to all hashtag wing. You lock in to all. Sure. All right. I'll lock in to all as their as part of their new series that they've been putting out. There's a couple of them that have been they've, they've had on the shelves that are part of the regular release now, but I can't remember what they're called. I remember uh, two L hashtag as tastier than this. I think this is tasty. Maybe. Maybe. Um, <clears throat> so, Stefan, do you remember the the beer, the Belgian double, the brewery? Um, if it's not Westmalle, then. There are so it's few. Like Potter, something or another. Um. <laughs> there are so few Belgian. Uh, uh. Uh, which, I mean, if you went to Hansa, there's quite a few to choose from. Because Hansa has quite a few uh, Belgian uh, beers on the shelf. Um, there's like. Is it the uh, left? No, I don't think it's left. It's if it's a Belgian, it's like a purpley kind of diamondy. That's that's Vesmala. Oh, is it Vesmala? It has oh. to be right. Or maybe no. no, you're thinking of the Sundert. Maybe. Nah, 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 we'll figure it out. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll never remember it, but I'll I'll pick something that. Uh, now that you've gotten me into this track, I uh, might be guessing Rochefort. I was thinking which one, which one is it? Eight 10. or ten? I was thinking Rochefort ten. Is that one really at Sustainable? Uh. I, I think so. One. I think eight and ten are there, but not twelve. I had one recently. I don't remember it. I was thinking it was probably roast for eight or ten. That was my second guess. The first one is tastier now than uh, blindfolded. The first one? Yeah. Maybe it's my kitchen towels that soak them. What's? <laughs> and this is definitely a, a, a Belgian L of some sort. Um, um, I'll go roast for eight. So you um... no. Let's say ten. I don't think eight is on the shelves. Two of them are, and I think it's eight and ten. It's not twelve. Or eight or ten. 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 Um, All right. So not red ale anymore for you. No, no. Yeah, I, I completely no, failed. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was uh, going for brown ale at one point, but yeah, no, it's definitely not a brown ale. Um, it was funny we both said red, red ale at first. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will go. Actually, I'm gonna say the same thing because I think it's I think it's also the roast for ten, but I'm also very. You don't want sure. to go to eight just to make it more exciting? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm 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 pretty sure this is the ten. They, based on like what I know of you guys and how you would pick things, I uh, I feel like the ten is a safer bet than the eight. Um, All right, then we have the the smoky beer. Final beer. Um. You know what? Because we just had this recently. St uh, Stigberg's Ringo Bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this is a lot smokier than the Stigberg's Ringo Bro. I don't. It's, this is so much smokier than the Stigberg's version. Because theirs was mildly smoked. It was very lightly smoked. This is much, much heavier smoked. But the, um, the what you said, the the one that you picked isn't... That's not a regular sh shelf release. That's a annual release. They, they, they have... Uh, uh, Schlenkerla on the on the regular shelves. Do they? But it's not the the dark one. It's like no. one of the. I, I even said it when when I was blindfolded. Like oh, I'm saying Rauch beer, but it's probably one of their like smoked my box or uh, Helles uh, yeah. lagers. But all of their beers are <laughs> smoky German <laughs> beers. Yeah, I mean uh, the 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 lager they just had out was a smoky. That's the Hellas Lager. Yeah, Hellas Lager was yeah. even smoky. I was like, oh, that's a little smoky. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because everything that <laughs> they put out is smoky. Uh, uh, I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll steal your... Uh, I'll steal your 
guess and go for Stingberg, it's Ringo Broy. Ringo Brow. Ringo Brow. B R A U. Brow. Isn't uh, it an A? Uh, eh? I think so. But I, I, there's just, it wasn't that smoky of a beer. And this is much more smoky than that one was. We have. But I can't think of a single other Roush beer on the shelf. Nope. Me neither. Yeah. Uh, I guess I just have to go with that because I can't. Yeah, so we both else. end up with Steve Burgett's yeah. Ringo Broy. Yeah, so we're guessing too many similar... Unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately yeah. I just can't think of another smoked beer. Um, and we could both be cause completely off on this, too. I mean, it's... So it will be the the, the beer number two that will... Or well, our one blindfolded one uh, guesses. Oh, yeah. Well, the... Um, you were We think you're wrong on the first one, then I might be right on the first one. But we'll... we'll also might be wrong yeah, on the I, beer style. I've changed my my uh, feeling about uh, number one to be more in line with your <laughs> blindfolded guess, yeah. which is which is not a good tactic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Are you yep. curious? Yep. To yeah. See oh, I'm beer super super curious. Yes. Okay. Here it goes. Ready? We're gonna Drum get. Roll. We're gonna get zero points each, right? Oh my god. I'm scared. Me too. It's a big bottle, so okay. it's not what I expected. No, it's not big. Okay, it's That's a regular bar, uh, thirty-three. Uh, but it's, oh, it's, it's a, a celebrator from Eyinger, a oh, double box. That was so funny because I was like, "Oh, this could be a double box." I was like, "No, it's not a double box. <laughs> That's smoking." I was not even close to double box. No, nope. no, none of you even mentioned. I rarely, I rarely. The only thing you got right was double, but uh, <laughs> what was so funny was because I was like, I tried it again. I was like. Could be a double bog. I thought, it, but I'm like, nah, that's not possible. This is a Roush beer. But at the same time, I'm like, it's just so. It, it's been a while since you both had it, yeah. and um, it, at least according to Untapped. But and um, it's been a while since I had it. Also. Wait, so which one is this one? This is the third one, the smoked beer, or this is supposed to be the first one? The first one. Oh, this first is the first one. one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, oh, exactly. that's why it's so. Yeah, yeah. No, that all makes. Uh, a small detour. I recently saw a, a comic being pa- uh, mm. like a comic strip being passed around the, the beer internet, where a guy gets a, a genie from a lamp and he says, "What's your first wish? I wish that anyone who rates beers would first be forced to drink Celebrator, Orval, and Phantom Saison." And the genie goes, "Wow, yeah, that's a, such a good guess. You you get that one for free. You have three guesses still." <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's true. It's uh, it's a, it's a classic. I it's love a, I uh, love um, Eingers and I love a double box. Yeah. So I'm really disappointed in myself. And I yeah, uh, Eingers is one of my favorite breweries when it comes to this traditional German beer yeah. styles. Um, everything they put out, I, I yeah, it's a good beer. It's so drinkable. So that's a great beer for you to uh, to set us up with. Yeah. yeah, because it's it's famous and traditional and classic enough that we should have a guest <laughs> closer to it. Yes. Yeah. And I knew it would throw you off in both the sweet malty notes and yeah. and it might also turn you towards Belgium as definitely. It was it was a That's tricky one. Good job. Because a, a game of beers with three light uh, uh, macro loggers is a very bad game of beers. <laughs> because then you, afterwards you go, yeah, you I never had a shot. I should have gotten this. One. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah. Now it's number two, and he yes. will re- he will reveal Amundsen apocalyptic haze. Just you wait, or Just he'll wait. like brusky uh, something triple nipple or something. Oh. Like that. <laughs> okay, all right. It's a can. It's a can. That's good for me. Yeah, yeah, it's good for me too. Yeah. Uh, so is it Amundsen apocalyptic haze, or is it the two? Early? Well, wait, wait. First of all, is it an IPA or a double IPA? Before telling us. Oh God oh. damn it! <laughs> go, I don't shows. remember. All right, show, fine. Us. Show, show us. So show us what it is. Then it's not the uh, uh, too old. Ha! It's not too old because it's yeah. obviously deeper. All right, let's see. I'm just kidding. I know it's a double. Oh! oh. He never Three points, it. motherfucker! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> well, according to the old rules, it's ten points ten for points. guessing the exact beer. I just schooled your ass. I have There's no chance. No, you got the last one. I have. I have, I have lost this uh, competition. Oh. So yeah, it mm, is the two mm, mm, mm. uh, the hashtag so hashtag team. <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, and it's been sitting on the shelf a bit. Um, so you're right, but uh, it has that murky feeling, and um, but 
Good job, Stephanie. Yeah, I, really I, I nailed it just right off the bat. Good I said, job. I think this is because I've had enough of these two old divas yeah. to know that, like, I think this is the two old diva. It's, yeah. It definitely is in that, uh, and this is the only <laughs> one that they have on the um, on the shelves on a regular basis. Right yeah, the, that's a regular now. Uh, I think it's a regular. Yeah, uh, at yeah. least down here in the south. Um, and um, and I know that we uh, we have uh, had a lot of the number. Uh, the number deep us uh, the three and the four on right. our um, uh, uh, beer tastings. Um, so oh, it felt so good. I can't tell you how happy I am right now. <laughs> Go ahead. And then what's the last one? The last one. Is it a Roush beer? Oh, is it a Roush beer? Is it Steve Burgess? It might be just a smoky Ringo stout Brown. that we just don't think about. So. Oh, you know what it, it is? It's, it's a, a bottle. bottle. Oh, it is a bottle, so it's so not... Uh, so we've, we've yeah, failed. Yeah, yeah. We've already so we've lost. Failed. And it's another classic. Oh, the Limfjord's <laughs> Porter. That's not supposed to be smoky at all. It is. I even uh, looked up my old uh, check-in from a few years ago, and I made a note that they had a bit, uh, a bit of a smokiness. So I knew that it, this would uh, throw you off. Um, towards the Ralph beer, yeah, but it's the the Danish classic, uh, actually double brown stout. Uh, What's what for Pjorter from Fisted Brughus? The sad thing is, the wait, so is it a sprout? Is it a stout or is it a stout. porter? It's in Imperial, Imperial, Imperial Porter, right? Yeah. Uh, right. Um, What's funny was I said I might be a porter. I said Imperial Stout first. At first I saw Baltic Porter, and then I thought, well, maybe it's just a porter. But then it was so smoky that I'm like, nah, it's got to be a, a Roush beer of some sort. <laughs> yeah, you were close. You were yeah. in the right uh, area. Um, oh, man, I got zero you. points. No, but, uh, I, uh, oh, because I said regular idea. Yeah, yeah. you got so zero, zero points. So you <laughs> were uh, off even there. Um, God, man, that was, a, that was a crushing victory. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, this Linford Porter, uh, Porter. Uh, Porter is... Um, Quite new on the um, it's uh, on the last uh, uh, release uh, the first okay the, the first of March it's ah. back on the regular assortment uh, so mm. it's been a while for a few years oh, oh, man. <laughs> that too old deepest tastes so good <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's tasting better and better the more I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I get accustomed to uh, to it mm. this is giving me flashbacks from my first game of beers where, where I also got zero points <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man so now I've lost two game of beers and I won one yeah. game of beers yeah oh man you did great. That was an amazing. Uh, yeah, that was uh, spot the, the <laughs> hashtag deeper. It was almost as good as me nailing in Timmermans Creek. Oh man, you guys, you guys nailed Timmermans Creek so hard just right off the bat. I was just like, whoa, that was like, so, like you were like, it's Timmermans Creek. I'm like, what the fuck? He <laughs> <laughs> didn't smell it new. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, even if you didn't get. The, the deep eye, you would have won based on just guessing that it was a double IPA yeah, yeah. Uh, with uh, Bjorn's rules yeah. which I think makes a lot of sense because in the past we've, we've allowed the guess of IPA yeah. to win well because I wasn't thinking like double IPA I was thinking like oh well there's like a session hazy yeah. or um, like white IPAs or I don't know, red IPAs or whatever nonsense those are but I was but yeah, so I think I think we can add that to the you know have to be specific on the, uh, yeah, more specific more on the specific. IPA styles. So we've had we've had too many IPAs these days. We should be able to pick out a session from a triple. Yeah, but we can we we, we can also make it kind of nice where you can guess IPA and then oh do you want to also give a specific and then if it's only if we both guess the guess IPA then the the secondary. No, oh, kicks yeah. in as the yeah. winner. Yeah, that could be a that could be a fun uh, addition, like a tiebreaker yeah. kind of thing. Well, um, good job. This, these were good beers. Yes, I should have gotten yeah, I'm, more I'm, points. I'm, I'm quite happy with my uh, with my selection and um, my uh, thoughts. Oh, we got a um, good. <laughs> my thoughts. Um, 
about throwing you off uh, with the yeah. celebrator and the the Limfjord porter was correct. It's a it's a lot of fun. I figured that the two old should um, be quite recognizable yeah. for for either of you. So when you uh, when you were going through Sistemblog, it was it a lot of fun just to kind of like try to figure out what beers you wanted to pick and what styles you wanted to pick or um, yeah it was fun but it, it was hard because all my all my ideas was like oh this this beer would be yeah. excellent uh, but oh no Stefan hasn't had it uh, <laughs> and it's like oh this no Stefan hasn't had it because Martin <laughs> has tried everything yeah 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 well Martin's got like <laughs> But that just makes me easy to do a game of beers for. <laughs> but it makes it more difficult for me because how can I keep track of yeah, that? Yeah, of everything. Yeah. So you got like, what, three times the amount of check-ins that I have and I have like over 6,000 check-ins. But uh, <laughs> the Limford Porter... Uh, pure, why, why did I say Porter? Limford Porter. Porter. Uh, you both had it together uh, like a year ago. So <laughs> it's uh, fairly, fairly recent. recent. Fairly yeah. recent. Um, but it was fun, but it was hard also just to find, um, because there are so many beers at mm-hmm. Hansa. Um, and okay, is this still from the local uh, sortiment, or is yeah. this the regular? Or is well, usually the, if, you the avoid, if you avoid that center aisle and yeah. do everything around that, you're going to be okay. Yeah. Because uh, that center aisle is all the seasonal specialty stuff, and then the end caps they've been putting up now, because they get so much stuff in that's not selling. Uh, that also kind of just uh, excludes it, but anything that's in the middle part, and of course the huge logger section over there, uh, you know, you'll be you'll be fine. But it was fun hosting this. Great, and uh, I will now release you into freedom <laughs> again. Okay, uh, and um... I've been looking for freedom. <laughs> All right, well, then we'll wrap this up then. You can yeah. find us online at what's on tap podcast.com, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, and wherever you can find fine quality podcasts. Until next time, keep drinking, you dumb dumb. This podcast is part of the Pop Syndicate family. For more criminally compelling shows, articles, and conversations, head to wearepodsyndicate.com.